guys welcome back to my youtube channel it has been so long since i've done i look a little sleepy right now but i'm not i swear so it's been so long since i've done a favorites video for y'all and i just wanted to do another one and then i also wanted to just kind of get back in the swing of doing these things so i originally was thinking i should do like a fitness favorites and then a regular monthly favorites I might I don't really know like it just depends if you guys want them all just lumped in one let me know but for now I'm just gonna show you some favorites because I don't have any fitness favorites right now because I have been slacking so first things I am going to show you are my not beauty related stuff so first thing that I've been obsessed with is this Michael Kors spray so this spray is something that you put on any of your leather products and it makes it so that you can easily like clean off anything that gets on them so if you get like a scuff on your purse or something like it's just perfect I got a new Michael Kors purse and it is literally so hard to keep white clean and for some reason I decided to get a whole entire white bag but I also got a watch and I have some other Michael Kors products that are just they're white like what was I thinking but this really has helped me to keep it clean and if I do get something on it it's really easy to rub it off so you just you just take this off and then there's another cap and then you spray this on and rub it in and then leave it sit for like 12 or 24 hours or something I don't know I usually leave it sit like whole day because obviously when I'm in uniform I'm not carrying my purse around so it gets to sit like literally all week I only get to carry my purse on the weekend but it's okay so the next not makeup product that I want to show you guys is actually my head cap thing I don't know if you can see the opening so this is what I wear to bed at night except with my hair inside of it. <laughs> so this is what I've been wearing to preserve my curls. So I actually am on second day curls right now and I literally have noticed the biggest difference in my hair since having gotten this cap. So this one actually said on the packaging that it was infused with, it infuses your hair with olive oil. I don't really know if it does that, but I've noticed that like my hair doesn't fall out as bad as it did before and I've also got some hang time like I've literally you guys have seen you guys have noticed it you said it in my other videos that you can't believe how long my hair has gone and wanted me to do an updated hair hair video so thumbs up this video if you want me to do an updated hair video I don't know it's just it feels like I just did the last one that I did and my hair has literally grown like this much since the last time that I did one so I definitely attribute some of the hair growth to this and the reason why I have it such a big one is because when I put this up into a pineapple it's like I need this space in here so if you can't get that definitely get a satin pillowcase because that works too but I just like this because then my pillowcases still match my bedding. I don't know. I just like it. The next non-beauty related product that I got is one of my pairs of shades from the Key Australia line that I picked up and did a video on. These are Vivian. Vivian is the Key and Shea Mitchell line that they did. They're a little bit wonky because I accidentally may or may not have... Um, sat them in my seat in my car and then sat on them but it's okay they survived but I've just been obsessed with these because even on my worst days these make me look like a stunner so I love them I can wear them to work in uniform so favorite this is my favorite okay so the next thing is some wipes these are from Tajay and I actually liked these because Usually I just buy Neutrogena, like, I don't know, I just always buy Neutrogena, and there ain't no, there ain't no reason for all that extra money to be spent. So these say makeup remover cleansing towelettes, and they're evening calm. I can't say that they make me calmer, but they definitely make me want to take my makeup off at night. It feels amazing, so I really have been loving these, and I've gone through these faster than any other wipes that I've ever gone through, because I literally use them for everything. 
I'm actually going to get into beauty products, but the first one that I'm going to show is a face mask. I may have shown this in another favorites video, but this is the black charcoal and black sugar. It should be like black charcoal and sugar scrub. I don't know. It doesn't smell like sugar, nor does it taste like sugar because I might have tasted it at one time. It smells really good though. It says you can use it more than once a week. I try to do that just because I like using face mask, but it caused me to break out because I can't handle that much exfoliation. So I just try to use this twice a month. At the most, I mean, your girl couldn't even use her Clarisonic. So, that's how much my face can't take exfoliation. But this stuff is really nice. And I love the way it smells. And if you can take exfoliation, like, this is so relaxing to use more than twice a month. But twice a month is enough for me. So, the next thing is, since we're talking about masks, is this Shea Moisture. Yeah, Shea Moisture. A uh, raw shea butter deep treatment mask with sea kelp and argan oil for dry damaged hair. Heal, grow, and strengthen with it's sulfate free and color safe. So I'm obsessed with this. Oh, and this is cruelty free for those of y'all who want to be hating on my channel telling me that I need to stop using MAC products because they hurt animals or whatever. I live on a farm, so if you don't like it, bye bye. There's the X, it's up there. So, anyways, this is cruelty free. I don't pay attention to that, but for those of you who do, there you go. And I am obsessed with this. Somebody actually on my Snapchat uh, told me about it. You guys always got my back on Snap. I'll be like, has anybody used this? And you'll be like, girl, it's the best thing ever. So I have been obsessed. I use this once a week, every Sunday. I don't know why I smelled it because it doesn't smell. It's, it's not the business for smell, but... I like to honestly leave it on as long as I can. It says 15 to 30 minutes, but I leave it on as long as I can. So let me just tell you, ever since I've started using this, the hang time has been real. So this is my hair curly. I have not straightened my hair in probably since, um, okay, so I've went and got my hair done and they've blown it out, but I've never actually used like a flat iron on my hair like I've never if I'm at home I've literally been doing wash and goes for the last few months since like New Year's was the last time it was actually straightened and that was at a, at a beauty salon too so pretty much my hair has only been straightened if I've went and got my hair colored or yeah like whatever in it and, and it was a blowout so I don't count that as straightening my hair because I didn't do it so um this has helped a lot, and when I do a hair video, this will be the main product that I talk about. So I got two more things. I got two phones, one for the, one for the, okay, so I got two more things, and the first thing is actually some makeup. So I used this in a makeup tutorial. It's called Brown Diamonds. This is from Sephora, and I just think that these are so pretty. I don't know where I was, so they remind me... They remind me of, I just switched topics like it wasn't a thing. So that's one swatch of this. It's just very pretty. Um, these remind me of the MAC, like, pressed shadows or whatever they're called that I paid like 20 some dollars for and then I only paid like $8 for this. So they're, in my opinion, it's better. It's creamier. The MAC one's very difficult to get it to stick to the brush unless you're using some type of a spray. I just think that this is gorge on my skin so it's a favorite and the last thing that I have to show you is my Anastasia glow kit I had to pick this up in Florida because we don't have stuff like this where I live and I only use one color out of this because I haven't really like played around with the others I don't if somebody knows how to use the others or someone who does use the other colors besides um, dripping in gold, let me know, because dripping in gold is the only one I can really get to, like, pop on my skin, and if I'm gonna waste my time putting it on, I want it to look amazing. So, here's the colors, and dripping in gold, y'all have seen this probably on everyone under the sun, but dripping in gold, 
is right there. It's right, it's right there. And it's Gorge. So, I mainly got that because I was obsessed with the way that it looked on Makeup Shayla. So, yeah, once again, another Anastasia product that I paid $40 for and I used one color out of the kit, but that's okay. So, if someone could leave in the comments bar how to buy Anastasia products, I've gone to the website, and I don't know if I'm going to the wrong one or what, but I never see, like, any of, like, the individual shadows or, like, her palettes that everybody loves so much. Like, Sephora here does not carry them. Like, they don't carry the palettes. They carry all the brow stuff, and that's it. So if you know where it's at, let me know. Because I would like to buy some of them. Obviously, I like Anastasia products, but I can only get what Sephora carries or, like, that product I had to get in Florida when I was on vacation. So that is it. For my monthly favorites, I feel like I'm... I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> That's it for my monthly favorites. Um, I don't got nothing else to say, so I'm going to let you guys go. Thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.